Metro roads safer this weekend after a suspect is arrested and charged in the highway shootings. Tonight, Garrett Haig takes us through the steps that led to the arrest, starting with an incident that didn't even happen on the road. Some of the most important pieces of evidence in this case are the smallest, including 380 pistol rounds just like these. 11 of them found at different crime scenes all across the metro and in the gun recovered when Muhammad Whitaker was arrested. Dwight Tolbert may have been the highway shooter's first victim. He didn't find a bullet in his car, but rather in his bathroom. What did you think when you saw the bullet? Well, I was surprised. Ten days ago, police matched a 380 bullet fired through the back wall of Tolbert's home last October to 11 others fired into cars across the metro in the last month. A police database linked Mohammed Whitaker to the house just behind Tolbert's. A connection was made. What do you think now that you know it's related to this highway shooter? Well, I'm just glad, glad they caught the guy. Tips and surveillance indicated Whitaker was using this car. A week ago, police planted a GPS on it and began to track it. Last Friday, police and federal agents followed the car to the Bass Pro Shops parking lot in Independence, where they say Whitaker tried to buy another handgun from someone he met online. The seller told police he changed his mind when Whitaker couldn't produce an ID. Police also watched this week as Whitaker traveled back and forth between this house on Indiana and the home where he was arrested, carrying suspicious boxes. With a mountain of evidence gathered from witnesses and victims, ballistic tests on recovered bullets, and surveillance on his car, KCPD obtained a warrant on Thursday night and raided Whitaker's house in Grandview. What police discovered in Whitaker's bedroom convinced them they had the right man, including black hoodies and a mask matching those described by witnesses, a pistol, and yes, dozens more of these 380 rounds. Reporting live, Garrett Hake, 41 Action News.